Why don't you join the country club? Why don't you join the country club? Why don't you join the country club? Pan Am can fly you to over 80 countries from one end of the world to the other. Big countries, small countries, old countries, new countries. And it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from or where you're going. The world's most experienced airline has room for everybody under the sun. The commercial you just saw was a recent Pan Am television spot. Its purpose, of course, is to persuade people to travel. Get people who are planning a trip to another country to fly there on a Pan Am jet. Pan Am makes the going great. And the closing line, book your trip through a Pan Am travel agent. This commercial perfectly illustrates the advertising campaign that Pan Am introduced last year. Without sacrificing Pan Am's solid reputation as the most reliable airline in the business, the world's most experienced airline, the campaign added a new dimension to Pan Am advertising, not to mention a lively new tune. As a campaign, it has proven highly successful for all concerned. That was 68. What about 69? Listen to this new Pan Am radio commercial. the phone off the hook teach the cat how to cook be a man not a mouse sell your car rent your house get out of the country get into this world and makes it go and great let the dog take its course let the car get a horse leave the house up a tree, lock the door, lose the key. Get out of the country, get into this world. And it makes the going great. And it makes the going great. Quite different, isn't it? Our campaign for 1969 adds yet another dimension to Pan Am's advertising and one that is even more tailor-made for the travel agent. The advertising has been enhanced, as you heard, with another bright tune, the purpose of which is to get anyone who is considered a foreign vacation to take that trip right now. The significant addition to last year's campaign is that the audience to which the 69 campaign is directed is greatly increased. Last year's was primarily aimed at the existing market, people who were already considering a trip abroad. The purpose of the advertising was to get them to plan their trip through a Pan Am travel agent and then fly Pan Am when they went. This year's campaign has been expanded to the total market, to anyone who has ever yearned to travel abroad, and that includes nearly every one of us. The advertising for 69 will reach out for the greatest numbers of people, once a month travelers, once a year travelers, once in a blue moon travelers, never in a million years travelers. Advertising that knows all of them dream of being almost anywhere but where they are. Advertising that realizes that everyone wants to take a trip, but that most aren't going because something always gets in the way. Something always cancels the trip. Something always postpones the dream. The aim of the campaign will be to make that dream take off and fly like never before. Its attitude, its point of view, its whole reason for being can be summed up in one word. Go. It will take into account that the average person is primarily interested in himself. The life he leads, the job that bores him, the boss that drives him, the trains that rattle him, the nights he works late, the years he throws away, the wife he neglects, the times they've missed. It will be said with beautiful and fresh destination ads, headlines with a bite that speak to people on a personal level, that involve them, ads like these to make selling tours easier.
As Pan Am is the one American airline that is truly worldwide, we'll be telling them about all the places they can go. Not just about London or San Juan or Hawaii or New York or San Francisco, but about a whole world that's waiting for them. Everything from islands to cities to countries to continents, all for the asking. Where will you be seeing Pan Am's Go campaign? In a wide selection of U.S. magazines such as Life, Time, Newsweek, New Yorker, Sports Illustrated, Harper's, Atlantic, Saturday Review, Ebony, and National Geographic. Magazines that reach top prospects. In such magazines as Buen Hogar, Hablemos, Life en Español, Vanidades, the international editions of Time and Reader's Digest, and others in Latin America. And in Europe, in such magazines as The Economist, Life International, Reader's Digest, and leading publications in major markets throughout the world. And in the Pacific, editions of Time and Newsweek, as well as Pacific Travel News, magazines that go into people's homes that are read by every member of the family, magazines that blanket the entire world and will help every Pan Am travel agent, no matter where he is located, magazines with a total circulation of over 25 million per issue in the United States alone, and as each magazine is read by more than one person with a total readership of over 115 million. Because we will be running ads frequently in these magazines, the total impressions for 1969 in the United States will reach over half a billion in magazines, each one selling the reader on taking that trip he has longed for and directing him to see you, his Pan Am travel agent. And when we add Pan Am's magazine advertising worldwide, the figures are staggering. By conservative estimate, over 35 million circulation per issue over 190 million readership per issue. And this is for only one single ad in each magazine. And we run time and time again throughout the year. Newspapers, as you no doubt know, have always been an important medium for airline advertising. This year will be no exception for Pan Am. Ads will appear in 140 U.S. newspapers with a total circulation of 50 million in 1969. Worldwide, we will use more than 500 newspapers. This newspaper advertising will cover all subjects. There will be, of course, many ads selling specific tours, often appearing in the travel section. There will be ads selling selected destinations, and there will be ads reflecting the new Go dimension. And our advertising doesn't end with magazines or newspapers. It only begins with them. Last year, Pan Am jumped into broadcast with a splash for both radio and television are perfect media for selling the theme, Pan Am Makes the Going Great. This year, broadcast will be an even bigger and more ideal medium for Pan Am advertising. Listen to this new commercial and notice how ideal it is for radio. Leave the train on the track, take the bus off your back, leave the gang in a bind. Out of sight, out of mind, get out of the country, get into this world. Pan Am makes the going great. Leave the don'ts and the do's, let a friend fill your shoes. Take a walk with your wife, make a run for your life. Get out of the country, get into this world. Perhaps you've recently heard it. If not, you will soon. Last year, we ran over 150,000 radio commercials on more than 300 stations around the world. The listener impressions were beyond estimate. We only know that it was over 10 billion. This year, we will increase our radio schedule by about 20%. And that's only radio, one part of the broadcast story. On U.S. television, Pan Am will be running spots both nationally and in key markets during prime time, many on weather and news programs, as we did last year. In 1968, we ran 3,900 commercials on 20 local stations. This year, 
We are upping this almost 30%. And we're upping it all over, too. For example, we're going to more than double our broadcast in England, France, Germany, and Japan. And in eight countries, we're adding broadcast for the first time. And this year, too, we will continue our sponsorship of college football on ABC TV. In 1968, the NCAA programs ran on an average of 225 stations each time, reaching an average of 9 million people each broadcast. We're planning to double our college football coverage in 1969. This, in addition to the increases we've already mentioned outside the United States. In these markets, we'll be running commercials like this one, stressing how many Pan Am tours are available. Bargain hunters of the world, your hunting days are over. Now you can find a whole new world of bargain tours like you've never seen before, all under one roof. The tours are called Pan Am Holidays. They cover every part of the world. They come in all prices and styles, from basic bus to savvy safari. They're planned by somebody who knows the tour business inside out, and they're backed by the world's most experienced airline. See a Pan Am travel agent or a Pan Am ticket office. Walk through one door and you can walk out with the world. Other television commercials will use the lure of romantic destinations. There will even be a cartoon commercial, similar to this one, urging people to pack their bags and go. Poor Charlie. He's been dreaming about a trip to Europe, Hawaii, somewhere for years now. And every time he says he's really going to do it, something gets in his way. Money. Will somebody please tell him London's as little as $30 down round trip economy and a thrift ticket to Hawaii is as little as $42 down round trip and the whole thing's so simple it hurts. I mean, gee whiz, he could use a pay later plan. Or he could use his charge card. Or he could sell that old car of his. Anything, anything to keep from blowing up those ridiculous balloons. Goodbye, Charlie. <laughs> Pan Am makes the going great. If our magazine ads and broadcast commercials seem young and sprightly, it's not by chance. As we've mentioned, the world is getting younger every day. There will be 29 million more Americans by 1978 and 80% of them will be under 34. Even now, half of our population is under 30. The youth market is an important one for both you and Pan Am. By next year, about 37% of the passports issued or renewed in the United States will go to the under 30s, and about 57% of those under 30s will be between the ages of 16 and 24. And you can be sure that the 16 to 24s don't respond to advertising that's aimed at their fathers. Interestingly, however, their fathers do respond to advertising aimed at youth. We all want to stay young. This is true throughout the world. And there will be plenty of advertising appearing on college campuses this year, urging students to travel with themes like these. While stressing the total market, we won't be ignoring people who are already motivated to take a trip. Much of our United States newspaper advertising will be tour ads in the Sunday travel section. Equally important to travel agents are the new additions to Pan Am's extensive promotions for 1969. Folders are the bread and butter items. This year we have folders with city maps, London, Paris, Rome, Tokyo and Sydney. Folders to help you sell the young crowd. And new ones on Latin America, Eastern Europe, Russia and the Far East. 
we have folder maps in six languages of New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Chicago, and our other 12 gateway cities. And two new hardcover guidebooks to add to your new Horizon library. A hunter's guide to safaris in 77 countries. And a young traveler's guide written by young travelers for young people to tell them where the action is and where to eat and sleep for next to nothing. And new films for your use on Australia, New Zealand, Portugal, Spain, and the Low Countries. Most important of all is our direct mail program for 1969. First, there's Pan Am's own direct mailing to 1,600,000 prime prospects. Three this year, each selling the travel agent and the advantage of buying tours. Offered in these mailings will be our events booklet, the Going Great series of booklets on areas of special interest, and most important, folders promoting tours. Then there is Pan Am's famous Ready to Mail program. Last year, travel agents ordered more than a million and a half of the mailing pieces in the program, proof of their success. This year, we've divided the program into three editions so that you can plan to use them as the year progresses. The first, for use between January and April, you've already seen. The second will offer a huge choice of Going Great Guides. The final set will be a mailing that specifically sells travel agents, your services, and a piece on winter destinations. Finally, in addition to all this self-help material for you, Pan Am is going to make a tremendous extra mailing of its own to 1,500,000 people in March. It will be devoted entirely to selling you as a professional and to promoting tours. It will explain your services, your devotion to helping your clients, your standing with respect to all other professionals, doctors, lawyers, bankers, insurance counselors. It will identify you with the pleasure people get from traveling. At the same time, it will sell the concept of tours and the idea of booking them through you, the professional pleasure travel counselor, a Pan Am travel agent. Enclosed will be an activation element, a credit size card with the customer's name already on it. It will identify the customers, not vague prospects, being sent to you by the mailing. All of these items, plus many others, add up to the largest mailing and promotion in Pan Am's history to help you sell the all-important tours that spell profit. And to increase that profit, we're constantly increasing the time-saving features of Panamac. We've listed nearly all of our tours and their departure dates in Panamac. Any tour that includes a Pan Am code number is listed with Panamac. That means they can be booked and confirmed with one call to Pan Am Reservations. Here's just how quickly Pan Am's reservation service works when you talk to them. Pan Am Reservations, this is Mrs. Bunnell at Lundwall's Round the World Travel Agency. I want to book a tour for Mr. and Mrs. Gerald Lesser. Your Pan Am Holiday, 405. Oh, the Pan Am code number is PT4057Y, O-R-D-P-A-H, for departure on April 20th. I'm booking your reservation for Mr. and Mrs. Lesser. If you'll hold on for just a moment. Mrs. Bunnell, Pan Am Holiday, PT4057 Economy, for Mr. and Mrs. Gerald Lesser is booked and confirmed for April 20th departure. Please issue an MCO for $200 and send a service copy to Olson Tours in Chicago and forward an order copy to Pan Am. Thank you for calling Pan Am. Goodbye. Yes, the Pan Am clerk responded fast. In that short time, she booked a three-week tour for two covering 11 European countries and booked it faster than before because she was using our new Panamac cathode ray tube, another time-saving device now being installed in all our offices. That briefly is Pan Am's advertising, promotion, and tour reservation story for 1969. Here are two more commercials we would like you to see. They are both about the future, and the future for you as well as Pan Am is what's first in our minds. In the Roaring Twenties, the sound of luxury on the seven seas meant only one thing. But times change. 
1927, Pan Am introduces the Fokker F7. 1935, Pan Am introduces the China Clipper. 1949, Pan Am introduces the Boeing 377. 1958, Pan Am introduces the Boeing 707. 1969, Pan Am introduces the incredible, the largest, fastest, most comfortable plane in history, the Boeing 747 Superjet, the plane that's a ship, the ship that's a plane. First takeoff, December 1969, on the world's most experienced airline. A spiral staircase. Very plush. Hey, I think I've got it. It's a townhouse in New York, hmm? No. No, it's more like a chic new lounge. Oh, no, it, it looks more like an ocean liner to me. Mm -hmm. No, it's more like some grand hotel. Yeah. Or maybe one of those restaurants that looks down on everything, you know? Mm. Maybe it's some kind of movie theater. Or some secluded rendezvous. Mm. Pan Am introduces the incredible, the plane that's a ship, the ship that's a plane, the Boeing 747 Superjet, first takeoff December 1969, on the world's most experienced airline.